Hi everyone and welcome to uh, another video from uh, an Iron Man journey. So this is just a follow up to yesterday. Um, I, I made a video earlier just showing the process that I did to repair this uh, Garmin HRM Tri. You can see in the background there is an old one I have and I, I wanted to show you what's what's wrong usually with these uh, or with the with the battery changing process now funny uh, enough there is actually a third one coming in I ordered because I didn't think that I'd be able to repair this one so uh, I ordered it on Amazon got a good deal on it but really I mean 300 bucks between those three more than 300 bucks actually so just a test to see if it works. I still have to go for uh, a run and maybe a swim just to see if it if it actually is uh, waterproof. So it's been in the water for a good, I'd say at least a couple of hours. I've with uh, uh, shaking it in in the water, putting it under running water, and putting it in this container and just shaking the the HRM within the container as you can see it has connected and I'll be testing the um, the running dynamics so now we're done with this part now I want to show you why these HRMs or heart rate monitors fail after a battery replacement so this is an old one I have I pretty much torn this to pieces. I just wanted to know what is the problem. So, uh, I don't know if you can notice. I'm gonna try to uh, uh, to keep it on autofocus so you'll see it. But if I was to take this seal out, you'll see that it has some flat spots it's not supposed to. I don't know if you remember from uh, the other video uh, that I posted. You see that little protrusion? There it's clearer now. There's another one there. That is causing leaks into the inside so I cut this open I have a video I'm gonna probably post it on how I open this up um, the reason why I opened it up just to see what it is that fails inside I disconnected this one then I really uh, I'm not tech savvy but there was a lot of corrosion on this. There was a lot of corrosion. Now, you probably see the leftovers of the corrosion there. And if you look here, you'll also notice some corrosion right there. I tried to remove this just to see if it's only this spot or other spots that are... I removed the sealant, so the black sealant that you see there. But anyway, uh, this was completely covered in sealant. This is not a failure of the unit. This is my um, doing. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Go back to autofocus. So the cause is this. Um, now, when it's replacement time, the things that could fail are here. As you, as you saw in the other one, I had a hairline crack in this. Please see the other video, I'll, uh, I'll link it below. I'm looking for these seals, I'm probably just gonna make a kit. Um, just to help out and see what, uh, see if it is actually sourceable. All right. Well, that was the uh, 
reason of the video, I just wanted to show the failure mode of the HRM uh, try after changing the battery. Why do they fail? Well, that is pretty much why. And you saw the proof here in the corrosion, and then you saw it in the other HRM that is here. You saw that I had a crack in it. Then I filled it up with sealant, uh, even the outside cover, just to make sure that everything is uh, is working. And as you saw in the test, it did connect. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.